Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. New electronic stuff has arrived, so I guess that means it's time for another Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. So, um, yeah, let's have a look at what we've got here. Got some resistors. Got some transistors. And please excuse the fact that this is in a flowery box. That does not reflect the kind of person I am. Capacitors. More transistors. Got some little potentiometers here. Some strip board. And that's not all. Also got a new desoldering tool. And a new tip for the soldering iron. This is the old bit for the soldering iron and as you can see well, for one thing, it's way too big to for most electronics work. And as you can see, it's all blackened and got stuff all over it. So I thought, might as well get a new bit for that. Anyway, what am I going to do with all these parts? Well, for one thing, I'm going to replace that transistor in the amplifier that I'm working on. As you can see, I've put it all pretty much all together now. Put some jacks on the back. Move these two amplifier circuits here. I know those heat sinks aren't quite big enough, but I'm not going to listen to this at super loud volume, so they're quite adequate for the volume that I'm going to listen to this. Yeah, I can see it from the other angle. As you probably saw in one of my previous videos, I've put the box back on the phono preamp now, so there's not as much hum. Still getting a little bit of hum from the from the record player, but it's nowhere near as bad as it was. As you can see in the amplifier, I've just put in any old transistor to replace that one that gone bad. Obviously I am going to put the proper BD140 in there instead of this one I just had to make uh, I just used any old PNP transistor I could find but that's going to be replaced now so it's got the proper part in it. And destroyer C or however you pronounce your username I am going to attempt to build one of your DX amplifiers. That's what I've, what I've got most of these parts for. It's partly going to be built onto the strip board, which is why I got this. And going to partially be done with point-to-point -point wiring, but that's going to be in another video. Because I'm going to replace that transistor in my amplifier and give you a grand tour of all the controls and junk. So this is the front of the amplifier with all the controls on it. So I'll briefly go over what each one of these is. This, as you probably would have guessed by now, is the power switch. And there's the light to indicate that it's on. Got the tape monitor switch here. And the tape select switch here. This is the main selector knob. It's got line one, line two, phono, and tape dub. These are the volume controls. Left and um, left bass and treble and right bass and treble. So I've got completely independent control of the sound. Now I'm going to show you how I would say copy from something onto the tape with this and I'm going to have to use the camera's microphone from here so you know you're going to have all that and in the background that it always does but uh, you'll have to bear with me about that. I'll show you how the um, tape monitor thing works. First of all, I'll just put a record on. I've selected one which won't get me into any trouble with copyright, because these are not original songs. Well, they're original songs, but not done by the original person. And I have the tape deck and the reel-to-reel -reel player. Now I'm going to put the tape monitor switch on, and we'll hear from the cassette deck. That's the cassette deck. Now, if I flip this switch, we'll hear from the reel to reel. Responsibility of every gentleman. But, but, and how you clean your hands after you wrap back. can go back to the record by turning tape monitor off. Boy, that's my final word, boy. boy. And when you come to washing the ink off of your hands, just bear in mind. So that's how that little thing works. That's tape monitor on. 
that tape monitor off and this switch selects which tape you want to listen to when the tape monitor's on so when it's up like that and that's reel to reel when it's down like that that's the cassette deck so what if i wanted to record from one tape to the other let's say i wanted to record something that funny recording from the reel to reel onto the cassette i mean onto the cassette well first of all i would put this into tape dub and when this is in tape dub it automatically goes into tape monitor mode as well. So this switch now doesn't do anything. And this switch still acts as the same as it was before. So like this way, it'll still monitor from the cassette deck. And like this way, it'll still monitor from the reel to reel. Except, of course, that the amplifier will patch in the sound from the other cassette deck. So when it's like this, it will connect the reel-to-reel's output to the cassette deck's input and monitor from the cassette deck. Like this, it will connect the cassette deck's output to the reel-to-reel's input and monitor from the reel-to-reel. -reel. So the first thing to do is obviously put this into tape dub mode. And in this case, as I want to copy from the reel-to-reel -reel onto the cassette, I put the tape monitor switch onto cassette. Now I make sure that the tape is ready to be recorded on. And that's a very good thing I did right there. Because I forgot that tape was still in there. And that's not one of my tapes. Don't know what's on this tape. Anything I want to keep on this tape? Okay, no idea what that is, some French song by the sounds of things. That doesn't sound like the quality is very good, so I might just well record over that. So with the cassette recorder and record standby, now start the reel-to-reel, -reel, get that all queued up. Also, good idea to adjust the levels at this point. At Vatican City, here on the next WMAS 2020 news headlines coming up at 7.40 this morning, right here on the... There we go. Uh-oh, his face looks red. Uh, good morning, sir. Okay. Now we've got all that ready. I'll just back cue the reel-to-reel -reel until it's at the point where I want to start copying. All I have to do now is start the cassette playing. I mean, start the cassette recording. Start the real talk playing. Face looks red. Uh, good morning, sir. My temper's up, boy. Yes, sir. I am about to lose the call. Turn the volume up a bit. That is befitting a executive gentleman. Oh, gosh, boss, what did I do now? This package is what I'm referring to. But you distinctly told me to tie up the old newspaper, sir, and I'm just. But the sound on the tape seems to have gone down. To so use not string. Not use string. What else could I use, then? There is a whole box of perfectly good used typewriter ribbons in the supply room for that very purpose. How would I say, make a recording from the record player onto the cassette or the reel-to-reel? -reel? First of all, have the amplifier in record player mode. That's with the tape monitor off and the function selector selected to record player. Start the record player to find the track, whatever track I want to put onto the tape. Now we'll put it onto tape monitor. So what we're now hearing is going through the cassette deck. Set the levels. Okay, that's pretty good. Find the beginning of the track. I'm going to do it the proper way in this video, that's not the way I usually do it, I usually just hold, hold the thing here and move it, but I'm going to do it this way. Start the tape recording. I messed up there, but never mind. 
this tape does not seem to be recording very loud actually. That's the tape. That's the source. Not getting very loud sound from the tape there. Must make a note to self, use a better tape in these demonstrations. Anyway. I'll just put that back onto source so we can hear it easier. Now, I could also record this onto the reel-to-reel. -reel. If, I, if I put the tape monitor onto reel-to-reel, -reel, at first it may seem like the sound is completely gone, but... Going through the reel to reel now, so I can make the recording onto the mat. Unfortunately, I cannot copy onto both at the same time. As you can see, the tape recorder, like a set recorder, is not receiving anything, but if I flip the tape monitor switch, it's not going through the reel to reel anymore, it's now going through this again. And that's basically how I'd make a recording. Anyway, I hope I haven't confused you with that. But the next thing to do with the amplifier is basically just to make a cover for this, tidy the wiring up because you can see it's all kind of higgledy piggledy, all jumbled up and stuff. That'll be the next thing to do. But I guess that's it for now. Better get on and build that DX amplifier. So until next time, goodbye. Well, that's it for Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. Remember, if you like these videos, feel free to subscribe. You'd be glad you did. And while you're at it, tell your friends about Cool Dude Clem and his Electronic Workshop. Get them to subscribe too. And if you want to see more from Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop, click on the box on the right. If you want to see more of my videos, click on me right now to visit my channel. And that's it for now. I'll see you next time, so... Until next time, goodbye.